Continued, I think my wife cheated on me, but I have no proof. Four men. She had an affair with four different men over the past five months. The first was a guy from work she starts sting and sending racy pictures to back in October. Then she met a random guy at a concert and kissed him. She met up with him again when she was at a drive-in movie theater with a friend, where allegedly nothing happened except cuddling. She met up with him again when she was at a gay club with some friends, and he ducked her from behind in the bathroom. He drunk texted her a month later, they fought, and broke off contact after that. One night in mid-December I came home from work at 6 p.m., knowing that she got done at 2 p.m. for a company Christmas party. Her pet bunny was out of its cage and running around the apartment. She was nowhere to be found. Her car was in the parking lot. Her coat was on a chair. I called her phone and it rang from the couch. I called my mom in a panic. I ran around the apartment complex looking for her. I screamed her name. I even checked the goddamn dumpsters, expecting the worst. When she came home, an hour and a half later, the police were in my living room, and I was giving them her description. I held her so tightly. I was so scared that something had happened to her. I was in tears. A minute earlier, she was making out with the guy from work, in his car, down the street, with her hand on his dick. If she wasn't on her period, she would have had sex with him. Then Therese New Year's Eve. The bassist guy likes it up the ass. When my wife and her gay friend went up to his hotel room, he asked him to duck him up the ass. He did, with my wife in the room, and then the guy told him to get lost. He then had unprotected sx with her, with possible vaginal insemination. She took the morning after pill, and had a pregnancy scare when she was late for her period. They continued to chat via text slash email slash video chat after that. Finally, she had an emotional affair with a guy she met on Reddit. They flirted via text and email, and made plans to meet in person and have sx while I was on a business trip last weekend. A friend of mine asked her if she wanted to do LSD together, and she found that to be the better option. As far as I know, she never met the guy. She continued to flirt and chat with three of the four men up until last Wednesday when I found out. I only found out about the other two yesterday, after I invaded her privacy and found tons of emails and chats with and about these men. I forwarded those emails to myself. I even have the t-shirt that my wife slept in that belonged to the bassist. She actually brought it into our home. I know this doesn't count as verification, but here is a photo of the t-shirt http colon slash slash com slash three at four f and of my hospital bracelet http colon slash slash com slash z from when I got screened for STDs. I could never hurt or kill myself. But believe me when I say I wish I was dead. I wouldn't wish this pain on someone I hate. I'm weak. I'm exhausted. I can't eat or sleep. I miss her so bad but I'm repulsed by her at the same time. I told her not to even be in the same room as me until she gets tested for STDs. I told her to email her entire family and tell them everything she did. She has a very tight family and this will likely shame her for life. I told her she needs to cut all ties with everyone and burn every bridge, including with the two friends she had that enabled her, if she ever wants to speak to me again. And even then, it's very likely that there's nothing to save. I feel so alone. I have friends that I've been relying on, but I can't tell if they are being supportive because they want to be and they like to have me around, or if they are simply not a holes. My confidence and self-esteem is shot. I'm doomed to be alone no matter what I do. I was already physically neglected, I am in no condition for a new relationship, and there is no way I could be intimate with this woman again. Everything I had was just ripped away. I need some cheering up. Again, South Jersey slash Philly area. Thanks again for the kind words I've been receiving. Edit, she had sx with the guy from work. I'm ducking done. It's over. 
I didn't make her write any letters or tell anyone. She can rot for all I care. I'm free from this bullshit. Anyone for a beer? Edit 2. These posts will be coming down soon, as I prepare for divorce. I hope that my story will help someone else get out of a toxic relationship as well. If you would like the name of my main account to keep in touch or just follow the story, PM me. Dude, what the duck are you talking about? Your relationship is over. Period. Married less than a year and she has run around on you with four different men. It's ducking over. You will be in the condition for a new relationship in six months or a year. Don't make judgments about yourself or your future based on how you're feeling now. That's pretty much the worst thing you can do. Get out of this hellish relationship and start the duck over. You don't need to starting dating women soon. Just be away from this one. Edit, let me clarify. I'm sorry that I came off a bit rough there. Like many people here, I'm really quite disturbed over your story. I just don't want you to act out of a position of weakness and vulnerability. Basically, don't be stupid. She will not stop. Ever. No matter what conditions you impose on her, you've glimpsed her true character. Move on, no matter how painful it feels. Things will get better. Regarding the whole therapy thing and not knowing the status of your employment I would look to see if your employer offers an employee assistance program EAP. Calls are anonymous and usually they offer at least a couple of therapy sessions for free. I am so sorry this happened to you. You will get through this. Slash internet hug. I am gainfully employed, though I miss two days of work because of all this. My company does have EAP which I completely forgot about. Thanks for reminding me. I'll look up the info on Monday. Thanks for the hug. This leaves me literally speechless. All I can really say, is that I am so sorry your wife ended up like such a slut bag. Honestly, how can people do this and not consider, oh, they're married? Stay strong, my friend. Do it for yourself. Don't let yourself get into such a deep rut. Do what you need to do to get over this. Some people get married because they really like the other person. Others get married because they feel that the other person is one the trust, admire, and respect enough to make a lifelong commitment to. It's sad when the two types marry each other. <laughs>